how to create very beautiful, colorful gradients in Photoshop. You can add gradient presets by using the gradients. So select that gradient tool, go along the control bar and select any of the default gradients. I'm just gonna go with this one. And then radial, and I'm using a blend mode of difference. So using difference, you could use darken, lighten, etc., and apply it multiple times. And I think that looks great. Just three or four applies, and you've got a super colorful design. Well, now I can save that to my library. How to do that? Just go over to the libraries panel. Down the bottom, there's a little plus. Click that, and you've got option here, extract from image. That's the image, so click. Takes a few seconds, and you've got pattern. That's the default one, but I'm gonna go with the fourth one, which is gradients. So gradients, and it by default goes with three, which is quite reasonable, nothing wrong with that. You might wanna put it four or five or 10, up to you, of course. And you can see all the colors, and it's all based on this. So you've got the red there, you've got the yellow at the top, and you can select any of them. Now you select that one, and that's the one that's the first one. As I move that around, you can see on the left side, so it goes to blue. Maybe this red, I can put this one up, and that goes to yellow. And I can click on that one, and move it over to the blue there, so it all becomes blue. Now the spacing is that they're all gapped, exactly the same, they're all identical. Doesn't matter if you squeeze that close to that, doesn't matter, it's still always gonna be the same gap. So I've got green there and red, that's the final one there. I can move it up there, put it there. So you've got that, you've got your gradient. Well, save, just click that, save to CC library. So save to CC library. And once that's done, you can see it appears in your library. Just down the bottom there, you can see that. And you can, of course, now move that over to red. So you can create a nice red one there, maybe orange there. And again, save to. And again, you can see it saved way. I could do some more, of course, but I'm just gonna go close. So it's all saved, but they're still not gradient presets. To make them a gradient preset, what you need to do is click on that. So select it, right click, and create gradient preset. Give it a name, click OK. Do the same with that one, create, and click OK. So they're all stored away in your gradient presets. Now just go over here, and just down the bottom, and you can see them stored there. There's that one, and there's that one. Yes, they look exactly the same. Actually, the design, because it's done the way it's done, that one's a diagonal, these ones are straight. That's just the way it's done, so. So just select, and now you can apply it. And of course, maybe not use difference, but use normal, and you can see the gradient there. So all kinds of very quick gradient presets can be created using this approach. But you can also use shapes. So I'm just gonna to go to Edit and Fill, click OK. Now I've got these swatches, and you've got all these various swatch groups, pastel, say pastel. And what you can do, go down here, select the rectangle tool, or any of the others, doesn't matter, of course, you can use ellipse. Use that, use pixels, blend mode of normal. Of course, you could use other blend modes as well. And then simply click and apply the color. You can see the color there, color applied here. Click this one, apply that. Click that one, apply that one. And you can see, of course, you could do that with all of that group. A bit slow, I know, but you, if you've got, say, 50 of them, it takes a few seconds to go through them all. But again, select that one and that one. That's enough. But once you've got that, you can see you've got all these colors now. Well, you can do exactly the same as before. Now, it would be nice, of course, if there was a nice function, you could say, convert all of that group into a gradient swatch. But it doesn't exist. So again, down to the plus, extract from image. So select that. And this time, of course, you've got pattern again, always defaults to pattern, but you can go to gradient. And you can see now with gradient stops three, let's put that to about seven. You can see all of these. Now, for some weird reason, it's decided to crunch them all down the bottom. I don't know why, but you can move it. So you can move it to there, position it there, move that one there, that one there, and you can reposition them. You don't have to keep them as is. So move it over there, and this one black, just about over there. 
You can put it there. And you can see now you've got a gradient based on your set of swatches. Again, save. And of course you say, oh, you know what? I want two of those yet. You can use two, the same colors, different places. Maybe you decide to have two greens there. Maybe the blue there. Maybe have that one blue as well. And you can see you've got blue there and blue there. Again, save. And just close that. So once you've done that, exactly the same as before, got the gradient tool. Make certain, of course, you need to convert it into a preset. So right click and create gradient preset. I don't know why it doesn't do it by default, but it doesn't, So, that, but it would be nice. And again, create gradient preset. Click OK. Go to the gradient tool and then just simply go down here and here's your gradient presets. Select that and you can apply it. And there's your lovely colorful pastel gradient very quickly. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.